the walk and the light it keeps tight Look to the left and the right is a might I don't waste time with the mediocre below average when I got the king in sight I don't waste time with the mediocre below average when I got the king in sight Great people, what's going on? Happy day and welcome back to another episode of Snap Political. Your girl is not in the country right now, so I am still grinding, still making sure I get the content out there for you guys, because we got a lot to check up on. Okay, so I've been following the Mikey Williams story, and guess what, guys? Guess what? It has wrapped up and he is moving forward in a positive direction. There's going to be a case. Let's shout out to Juice Made Juice Made Hoops with this um, video. But before we go any further, guys, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. I appreciate your support. You guys keep coming back. You keep giving me comments. We engage. We're chatting it up. Let's go. All right. All right. All right. Um, we got this over here maneuvering. So let's just big and uh, we is ready. Let me see, I'm saying chocolate you got this thing hooked up over here. My head might be cut off guys because we had to hook it up. Okay, got the little um, traveling gear on over here. So, look down a little bit in my chest so y'all can see my whole head. But let's get right into this content. Mikey Williams is free. I'm so glad, I'm so glad. We make mistakes and hopefully he's gonna learn from this mistake so he can continue to be a positive, productive citizen and basketball star. Let's go. Well, Mike Williams has officially beat the case and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard uh, the case details like 80, 50,000 million times, but we gotta read it just in case if people don't know. But as you can see here, uh, Mike Williams is a Memphis basketball signee. He entered a guilty plea Thursday in connection to a shooting that occurred outside of his California home. And he pleaded guilty to one count of making uh, criminal threats. And his sentencing date has officially been set for August 12, 2024. And as part of the conditions of his guilty plea, uh, Mikey is going to have to complete anger and gun safety courses, okay. um, as well as 80 hours of community service before his sentencing date. And if completed, the charge will be reduced to a misdemeanor. That's and Michael Williams will also have a 10 year gun uh, restriction um, on his record, man. Sheesh. Compared to what this man was gonna get 28 years yes. or what, however much he was fighting, even if it was yes. five years, even if it's just a year in jail, like this is honestly good news. Uh, for Mikey is. Williams and you really gotta think about it bro this man really got arrested earlier I believe it was April or March so if you think about it bro that's what March April May June July August September October November bro um it's been like eight nine months bro and this man Mike Williams has been fighting for his life bro <laughs> like I don't think you guys understand bro 28 years bro this man Mike Williams has been fighting for his life not just behind the scenes but this is actually going on in front of millions and millions of people like I'm literally making a video about this whole situation well he's he was fighting for his life because he made a poor choice and he made a bad decision so no sympathy there because we have to learn as individuals and especially our youth that we just don't pick up a gun and put it point to somebody because we're upset and angry that's the wrong move so hopefully this scared him really like out of his head this really really has frightened him it's made him think okay i can never do that again plus with this 10-year gun restriction he won't be able to do that again but he's gonna learn how to problem solve he's gonna learn some um, anger management skills and next time if he's in a situation where he doesn't want to guess at his house or whatever the situation is he's not gonna resort resort to pulling up a weapon and doing all that because he just didn't seem that was extra behavior extra emotions to a situation that didn't even cause that so yes let's get your emotions in check so i'm glad that this happened for him and it's not it's it's going to be it's a fraction of what could have happened so yeah that's why he was fighting for his life no 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 that's that's he did that to himself but thank god there's grace and mercy because he seems like he's a good guy. He seems like he's a good young man. He has a good heart. He just made a bad decision. Situation, like everybody's talking about it on Twitter. Everybody's gonna give their opinions. Like, I don't think you guys understand. Like, imagine being Mike Williams. Like, put yourself in Mike Williams's um, 
life for just one second, bro. And imagine fighting a case like this well, in front did. of millions okay, and millions of people. People are giving their opinions. People are I saying this. You. People I are spitting you. out wrong information. People are saying, like, I, I honestly you. can't even imagine being Mikey in this situation for the past few months. And like, you guys got to understand, like, this man already has haters and he has people that want to see him fail. Well, he yes, has, but he put himself in that situation. So let's not go there. I hear what you're saying, but I, I don't agree. I, I don't really agree with that perspective yes he made a bad decision and that is the choice that is the consequence of the choice he made let's be clear about that he made a bad decision therefore he had to reap the repercussions of what the bad choice was so once again hopefully he won't have to be he won't be in a situation like that because he gonna think twice before he picks up a gun people that are jealous of him like bro this kid is only 18 17 years old and he's done a lot for the basketball community in regards to high school basketball like he's one of the first athletes to like get a real nil deal make over a million dollars and actually treating his whole brand and his persona like an actual business like, like you got to understand people are really following his footsteps and he's not just a regular high school athlete like he's really in the hall of fame when it comes to this whole business and basketball moves well, and if you really think about it too set. like this kid is a high schooler or was a high schooler and has more followers and has much more of a branded set. impact than even professional athletes that's even in the nba nfl etc etc like just go on youtube and type in michael williams and go watch the actual games and how packed he was packing arenas people throwing stuff people trying to fight him fans trying to fight him like it's honestly crazy like what this man has really been through um since he started playing basketball in high school or at least been in the spotlight in front of everybody in high school and like i said this is really a blessing that he's free and exactly. i'm praying to god that he really learned uh, a huge lesson from all this like i really want to know That's like what mikey williams learned especially having to go through this uh for the past eight or nine months like okay i'm gonna stop it right there so it looks like he kind of read the report and uh, I'm glad he brought it back around because pr pretty much Mikey being, you know, who he is, you know, to me means don't mean nothing. You're a kid, you're a young man, and you made a bad choice and you made a bad decision. You are just as popular as some of the NBA players. However, you learned a valuable lesson and hopefully it is going to stick with you and you're going to make a better choice and decision. I could care less about all the endorsements you had, how much money you got. That means nothing because if you, if you can't think and you can't be smart and you're out here letting your emotions lead you, getting you in these type of situations, then you don't deserve to have all of that because with much is given, the word says much is required. So you have been blessed because of your skill and talent. Now you need to get your character in check with the skills that God has given you. That's how I feel about that. Let's be clear. I appreciate the juice made hoops for the video, for the content, but I may, I want to make sure that, you know, we're keeping it centered on what the overall picture is. It's a lot of great artists. It's a lot of great entertainers. It's a lot of great actors. And we can see, we see all the time where these people who have all of this money, all of this talent and all these skills don't have the character and the personal development to be able and the skill set when it comes to business mindset, professionalism, to handle all of the blessings and they lose it. And some of the people's heart ain't in good places, for one. But I think opposite of Mikey, I think his heart is in a good place. Whatever happened that day that put him in that place of anger, frustration, irritation, whatever made him do what he did, still I think his heart is in a good place. Because there are people whose hearts are not in a good place and they make these decisions and they continue to make decisions after they've gotten grace and mercy. But I hope for this young man, he is going to make better decisions for himself because he's gotten a second chance. And that's where I think some of the artists and entertainers and sports players, when they get a second chance, they don't learn. And then they reap the repercussions of losing quite a bit of things because they don't learn. So I said I was gonna follow up on this story. I'm not gonna make it longer than what it needs to be. I'm so glad you guys are with me. I've been missing you guys. I'm like, I ain't got no content out. Where y'all at? What's been going on? We are taking a break right now, kind of recuperating, still getting content out, you know, doing some other things while we're out of the country. But um, I had to get some content out. So I know I'm going to be the first couple of days of next week. You guys probably won't see anything. I'm going to put it on the community board. And guess what? Sebo and Snapper is dropping merch. So I'm going to have in the description section, and you should see right here, you should see right here that 
the link to be able to go and pick up um, the first two um, stories that we're sharing. Always pray and never stop praying. And God assigns soldiers. Let's go. I'm proud. I'm proud of the merch, y'all. It looks good, and I can't wait to, um, for my my order to come as well. So. Be on the lookout. Don't forget to also support the ebook. Some of you guys have hit us up on Instagram about starting your own YouTube channel and the ebook. Go to 0 5k subs, no money, no experience.com and get your copy. We have dropped way more knowledge and it talks about how to make money, how to grow, start and grow a channel with zero to five, how um, to be able to make money, five thousand, at least five, how to start and grow a YouTube channel and make five thousand dollars a minimum month guys so check it out and i'll see you on the next video appreciate you check out some of the other videos too if you haven't seen if you haven't seen the other i'm recording one second um if you haven't seen um if you haven't seen the um if you haven't seen the um, the first video i did on mikey then go ahead and um check it out if you haven't seen the first video on mikey Go ahead and check it out. Follow his story. Follow his story. See you guys soon.